Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a quick walk in Cannes. We go out from our village to spend a half day in Cannes. Today is a very sunny day and uh, we park a car near the harbor. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Everybody knows Cannes and um, before it was just a fisherman village and today Cannes is one of the most glamorous destinations on the Côte d'Azur. In this video we're gonna show you the um, center of the Cannes uh, and the beachfront and uh, red carpet and uh, old town, a little bit of old town and a harbor. So we're gonna start from this beautiful street, Les Allées de Liberté. Uh, this is a very sunny street. It's always on the sun um, and uh, you will see here lots of restaurants and uh, beautiful buildings, the Belle Epoque. So it's like in the center of uh, Cannes, the tourist center of the Cannes. And if you're questioning yourself where to have a lunch, I recommend you this place because there are plenty of restaurants and um, just behind of this street you will find the old town so you can just walk inside and see these narrow streets with the old buildings it's very quiet now because it's not a high season in the summertime there are lots of uh, terraces as well and the people are hiding from the sun but uh, now in spring they it's better to stay on another side we come back to this uh, street, Allée de la Liberté, to check the broken market. Uh, this is the reason why we are here today. Uh, we wanted to visit this broken market uh, just to check, have an idea to decorate our house. We don't have any um, things special in our mind to buy. Uh, Cannes is very famous for its uh, broken markets. Almost every weekend during the summer, uh, start from the spring until September, uh, every weekend uh, you will see the broken markets or vitgrenier markets, professional broken markets. Well, to be honest, we came here to visit this market, but we didn't buy anything because the price for the items was very expensive. It was expected because we are in Cannes. Anyway, every time I visit Cannes, I find more to explore and it's really very pleasant uh, time to spend. I'm sure that the tourists who want to visit a uh, French Riviera are choosing where to stay their Nice or Cannes so you can spend a wonderful day trip from Nice to Cannes and you can spend a wonderful day trip to Nice from Cannes so if you're staying in Cannes you can still visit a lot of places from here Saint-Tropez, Antibes, Nice you can visit also the beautiful uh, Lille de l'Erance the islands so um, for me if I am a tourist I will stay in Cannes overnight at least and this is what we're gonna do this summer i hope we will stay here overnight and we're gonna visit these beautiful islands to show you more about the can just behind of these broken markets and all these restaurants um, you will see the place where the people local people play petang the french game and also you can take a train the tourist train which will bring you all around the um, town. This beautiful alley connects to a Boulevard de la Croisette, which is also one of the most important thing uh, to visit uh, uh, when you're in Cannes during the night because it's very festive. And uh, also there are lots of uh, famous grand hotels and uh, lots of uh, fancy fashion boutiques. I will not film you that. You can compare the um, um, Boulevard de la Croisette with the Promenade des Anglais in Nice. It has quite a similar concept. Uh, now we are on the end with this beautiful fountain for our village people. We are feeling ourselves like in a big city. <laughs> After that, we're gonna check uh, Palais de Festival with a famous red carpet. Let's go there. 
I think everybody knows Film Festival of Cannes. So of all the things to do in the French Riviera, this festival is the most exciting. The prestigious red carpet event is definitely one of the biggest moment of the year in Cannes. The festival draws movie stars and filmmakers from all over the world, as well as crowds of fans and journalists. Just before the red carpet, you will find the Lallée des Stars. This is like a walk of the stars. And here you will find a lot of handprints of celebrities. So since the first edition in 1946, this festival has earned an international reputation for uh, supporting and promoting excellent films. Catherine Deneuve. C'est Catherine Deneuve et ça c'est Luc Besson. During uh, ça c'est Johnny Holiday. <laughs> We are here, don't miss the opportunity to take a red carpet photo on the iconic steps. Everyone does it. It's a little bit funny, but um, having your moment on the red carpet, it's one of the most unique things to do in Cannes. <laughs> we passed the red carpet and now we are on another side of uh, Boulevard de la Croisette. So there is like a two sides of this boulevard. In one side, if you cross the street, there are fashion boutiques and grand hotels. And on another side, it's a lovely beachside promenade. Cannes is very famous for its uh, fine sandy beaches. And uh, we love to come to Cannes during this summer to enjoy this sandy beach. Some part of this uh, central beach uh, in Cannes owned by hotels and uh, beach clubs, but there are also uh, a lot of space are open to the public. So yeah, I think in Cannes, uh, you can say that in Cannes, they're one of the best beaches in the south of France. And these restaurants, beachfront terrace, have amazing sea view. This is the end of March and uh, some people are swimming. Most of the people are just enjoying the the beach and the sun and the sand. Amazing. Bon, allez, on va se linger. Un, deux, trois. Oh. Et toi, t'es oublié. Oh. Deux, trois. We are back to the marina or um, old port, the Vieux Port, where we parked our car. And from the old port, you will uh, see the old town rising up a hill. And uh, from the old town, you will see a magnificent view over the Bay of Cannes. This we will show you in our in another video of Cannes, which we will make in the summer. But for now, we are going home and uh, thank you for watching us. We are sending you lots of love. Take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. Mwah.